So, Miss Daly, what did you think about uh, Prime Minister Julia Gillard's greeting? <laughs> you know, I loved... I was at home alone, and I was watching it on the 6 o'clock news, of course, just after their... Uh, no, I don't know what, what time it was, but when she came down, and uh, I saw the Prime Minister kind of wobble, and I didn't know, did she try to curtsy, or did she... I didn't know what she was doing. I just laughed. I was laughing out loud because I thought it was really hilarious. And, of course, very rude. <laughs> but I just couldn't understand what that movement was. What was she doing? And uh, so I thought, now, I wonder if anyone else will notice. I wonder if anyone else will notice. And uh, so, obviously, you did. We, we sure did. And I think there's been quite a bit of quant controversy this morning um, because on, on the Royal website, it kind of advises you that to do what you feel comfortable with doing, but it does go on to say that the traditional greeting is for women to curtsy. Oh, absolutely. And so do you think that as Prime Minister, you really should have gone with absolutely. the traditional greeting? Oh, that was the well-mannered thing to do. And I think it was not only funny, but it was shameful because she should have been wearing a hat. She should have been standing straight. She should have curtsied. And I thought that was a great embarrassment for Australia. No matter what her beliefs is, if she isn't a royalist, it's not a matter of that. It's a matter of paying courtesy, good manners to, to a queen, to the queen, because that, that was the expected thing to do. And I thought not to do that was shamed her tremendously. Not only did she look funny, and I had to laugh, but it, it was shameful for her to conduct herself that way. The lowest part of her life, I think as far as I was concerned, mm. because you have to pay uh, your respects and you have to be well-mannered and considerate to everybody. Mm. That's either, you know, as human beings, Bridget, we, be, we have to make our choice. Are we rough human beings or refined human beings? That made her look rough, not a refined human being being kind and courteous to another human being and especially to the Queen of England. And, and how did you think um, Quentin Bryce compared? Delightful. She did all the right things. I thought she was magnificently dressed, and she curtsied beautifully. She was polite. And you wouldn't know what her thoughts were, but she did all the things that were correct and expected of her as a Governor General. But as the Prime Minister, Julia should have uh, conducted herself the same way.